Hi everyone and a welcome in. It's a monkey mar. Before we get into today's update, please make sure you click that subscribe button, the bell for notifications, and of course the like. Let's get into part two of Madison Maddie Bell. She is missing from Greenfield, Ohio since Sunday when she went to tan. So let's get the potential suspect's vehicle out in the public's eye in case some of you have not seen it. And without further ado, let's get into this quick video. So we've got the car possibly involved in Madison Bell's disappearance. Highland County, Ohio, the Highland County Sheriff shared a photo Wednesday of a car that could be involved in the disappearance of a local high school senior. This story is just another bizarre one. 18-year-old Madison Bell went missing Sunday after she told her mother she was going tanning at the Country Corner Market in Greenfield. Her car was found in a church parking lot across the street. Her phone inside and the keys in the ignition. The car is a white sedan that was seen in the same church parking lot that day. The Highland County Sheriff shared a photo Wednesday of a car that could be involved in the disappearance of a Maddie. There's been reports from witnesses that it has California plates on it. There have been reports from witnesses that there was a tall white man late 20s early 30s that what they saw there maddie's mother melissa bell told local 12 monday since her disappearance hundreds of volunteers have come out to search the area this week on wednesday ohio's bureau of criminal investigations and the fbi joined the search if you have any information on madison bell's disappearance please call the Highland County Sheriff's Office and I will put that number down below in the description. My thoughts on this after a few articles that I have seen, hmm, I'm just a little confused, but my initial thought, they held a prayer vigil last night for Maddie Bell at the Greenfield Church of Christ are right here and I do not know what to think I'm honestly I don't think where she was taken was a hunting ground for somebody to stop in Greenfield Ohio knowing she was going to pass there and to get her to pull over and to take her I think that she was bored maybe with her boyfriend that she lived with him she was young she was getting ready to finish high school and I think she was maybe talking to people on an app but I think she definitely went to the church to meet somebody but then did she even go to the church some police say the last time she was actually reportedly seen was at the house and we know where the house is we know where the tanning salon is and we know where her car was found I think the cops will know more from her phone and I think they are doing things of course and not letting us know because we have the FBI involved in the Ohio Bureau of Investigation so guys, I will keep you updated on anything new. And my thoughts and prayers go out to Maddie Bell and her family. And I did see something else in an article that I, I don't know, just caught my eye and I thought, what is this? Melissa Montavon, daughter Madison Montavon, aka Maddie Bell, missing. Does anyone know who Madison Maddie Bell's father is? Because I have not heard anyone say anything except for he was not in her life. But at the address, we have a Bill J. Bell, 
and a Melissa D. Bell. And they're around the same age. So I don't know if that is the boyfriend and that gives her the last name Bell. But now I am going to have to look on Ancestry because that whole last name threw me for a loop. Who is Maddie's father? This whole entire disappearance has thrown me for a loop. I want to hear your guys' thoughts and comments, but before I wrap this video up, let's jump into Ancestry and see if we can um, find a birth certificate on Maddie. I know. I'm so nosy. Here we have it. Melissa Dawn Montavon is her maiden and name. We've got her father, Robert, and her mother, Penny. And I can verify that this is definitely her through some nosy investigation I've been doing. And I can't seem to find a marriage license on her, but I am going to continue to dig. But with that, guys, I am going to wrap it up. I want to thank you all for coming in. Thank you for watching. Please like or dislike, whichever you prefer, and subscribe. Everyone stay safe from COVID-19, and have a good day or a good night wherever you are in the world, and stay vigilant.